Hello everyone. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about essay. Essay is actually analytical technique or testing, which is actually used to determine quality or ingredients present in that sample. So you can determine quality or the ingredients present in that sample by using essay. And now there are different types of essay and you select the one which is required by your sample. So the first type is biological sample or bioassay. And the second one is chemical assay. And the third one is immunological assay. Now, if we talk about the biological or bioassay, so biological or bioassay is actually an analytical technique which is used to determine potency or concentration of a substance. by its effect on a living tissue or living cell. As there is involvement of living uh, tissue or cell, it is called as bioassay because there is something living involved in this kind of assay. Now if we talk about the chemical assay, it is actually study deals with separation, identification or quantification of chemical compound by using natural or artificial material. So there is involvement of a chemical compound. That's why it is called as chemical assay. So uh, from this, you can actually uh, study separation or identification or quantify you can quantify uh, the chemical compound by using any material that can be natural or artificial so this is actually chemical assay now if we talk about the uh, immunological assay immunological assays are those kind of assays which make use of binding between antigen and homologous antibodies in order to identify or quantify the specific antigen for antibodies. So by this, what uh, we mean is that there is binding of uh, antigen and antibodies. And by that uh, binding, we can identify or quantify the specific antigen present for a particular antibodies. So this is what immunological assay is. Now there are certain differences between bioassay and chemical assay. First of all, bioassay is more time taking than that of chemical assay. And why this is so? Because bioassay in bioassay you need results from that living organism. So in that case it will take more time than that of chemical assay in uh, in which you just uh, need results from certain kind of chemicals so uh, next if we talk about sensitivity bioassay are more sensitive whereas chemical assays are less sensitive if we talk about the manpower which is required in bioassay there is more manpower required by bioassay because you need uh, to handle everything at the very same time because when you are having something living involved in your technique or testing what will happen that you need to maintain certain condition for that living organism too and there are several conditions which are required to maintain the living uh, atmosphere for that tissue or cell which is not required in chemical assay so now if we talk about the handling, as we know there is more manpower, so 
ultimately it means that there is difficulty in handling therefore you need more manpower requirement so if we talk about precision bioassays are less precise than that of chemical assay cost is ultimately increased because of the handling and manpower required by the bioassay where is whereas um, chemical assay is economical now as we have discussed previously that a uh, bioassay require more manpower it is difficult to handle it is less precise all of these things in, in conclude that bioassay is actually less convenient than that of chemical assay and the last thing is that bioassay is done for those chemicals of which we do not know chemical structure but chemical assay is done for those uh, substances of which structures are being known now let's talk about some of the examples and experiment at animals used for those drugs in bioassay if we talk about insulin insulin require rabbit or mouse in is biological or bioassay for vitamin d and vitamin e rats are being used as experimental animals and for digitalis we use pigeons or guinea pig now for parathyroid hormones we use dogs and for antibiotics we use microbes So now for posterior pituitary we use rats and for tuberculin we use rabbits. So these are some examples of the drugs and their respective experimental animals required by them. Now after all the uh, differences between bioassay and chemical assay we still sometimes use bioassay. So why we use bioassay then? Because we know there are several disadvantages of bioassays over chemical assay but still we use bioassay and why this is so so there are certain reasons why we use them first of all when chemical structures are complex are complex mixture of substances for example uh, for digitalis there is chemical structure which is complex of different substances for such a uh, condition we use bioassay because as we have discussed previously in differences that for bioassay uh, the active constituents is having structure which is unknown whereas for chemical assay we need those kind of structure which are known so second uh, point is or second reason is separation of substance is difficult or impossible so when there is difficulty in separation of a certain substance from other substances for example vitamin d it is difficult to separate vitamin d from other substances in such condition we again use bioassay and when drug has no adequate devised chemical assay so in such condition we use bioassay because we do not have any advocate uh, devised chemical assay for them so for insulin we again use bioassay next is uh, when chemical assay do not define biological activity like if you want to determine biological activity of that substance but that chemical assay do not tell us its biological activity so we then do bioassay to determine its biological activity and the next point is when specific uh when specificity or sensitivity show use of bioassay as we have discussed previously that bioassays have more sensitivity than that of chemical assay and due to this we often use bioassay in certain conditions 
and if the chemical structure cannot be elucidated so in that condition again we we'll use bioassay as we have uh, discussed previously that structures should be known of the for the chemical assay so these are some reasons why we use bioassay despite of all of its uh, negative a point such as difficulty in handling more manpower requirement more costly less precision and less convenient matter all of these of these are there um, for its negative points but we still use it some time and why we use it then there are certain reasons which we have discussed over here so if we talk about the accuracy of the bioassay now the accuracy of bioassay is determined from the uh, countries for own pharmacopoeia like if you are living in pakistan there will be usage of pakistan pharmacopoeia and if you are living in us you will use usp uh, which is united states pharmacopoeia so according to that you will Uh, determine if your results are good or not so if your results deviate from plus minus 10 from true value it means your results are good and if it deviate from plus minus 10 uh, 20 from the true value then it means your results are good so this was all about uh essay and basically the difference between biological and chemical essay if you have any question let me know in the comment section below